Hello, welcome to a Tinger Ginge. Now today is probably the biggest update that everybody's wanting to see. They want to see how the tank looks when it's running. Um, there still are a few bits to do on this tank. I still need to get the sand in the bottom. I still need to buy the piece of rock that's going to go in there. I need to tidy up the wiring a little bit. But I've I've had a few issues along the way, so I'm going to cover those in this video just so you can see what I've had to change out, what's not worked well, and, and how I've overcome it. Um, there's not been many problems, there's been a minor fault with a pump that I've had to change and I do need to put the wiring through the side of the tank but because of the plug situation I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. Um, but I'm going to dive in, show you everything and hopefully you like it as much as I do. So this is the tank up and running. You can see it is filled up and it has got water flowing through. Now this isn't salt water, this is just plain fresh water. Obviously this is going to be a, a fresh water tank. But I wanted to just to get some water flowing through this just to get any toxins, any chemicals or anything like that out of the actual uh, the, the tank itself. So just by running it with fresh water I can just try and get out and you can see it's gone a little bit cloudy. I'm not sure why but um, I'm going to change the water out today and hopefully refill it and it should, should stay clear. But I just posted this on my Instagram earlier. You can see how the water is trickling in and this, this worked out but it originally worked out bad because the pump I got was too powerful but now the pump that I've got is literally ideal you can see that's coming out quite nicely there it's producing a nice little stream which is agitating the surface of the wall which is exactly what you want in a salt tank it, this little outlet here as well is producing enough flow to give this tank a slight amount of flow around the inside as well so I don't need to put any power heads in here and also the outlet there is just enough that it actually skims the top of the surface as well so the water gets pushed all the way around the tank into a nice big circle and then it heads back over to there and it's actually skimming the top as well which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I thought that was going to be a bit of an issue with this but it sort of just seemed to work out perfectly so that's that. And if we come down into the sump area you can see I've got that sock there that's actually filtering out really well. Um, it's, it's caught a lot of stuff already, even though there's nothing in this tank, it's managed to somehow catch all the crap that was floating about, so that's that's pretty decent to me. That sock I've had full faith in, because I've actually got that sock on my main tank as well, so I know that's going to be ideal. Um, I've had to put a little peg there just because that hose that goes in was lifting that sock up a little bit and it wasn't causing any problems but it was just annoying me a little bit so um, I've had to put that peg on there just to hold it in place now but I'm going to change that shortly. Uh, the skimmer in the back there as you can see is absolutely si it's dead silent you can't, can't hear it at all which is brilliant. I'll quickly switch it on for you so you can see. Okay, so you're not going to see it that well because obviously it's fresh water. Um, the skimmers don't work that well in fresh water, so you're not going to get that bubble vegetation you're going to see in normal tanks. But in there, that is actually running, and there's like the slightest, slightest of buzzes. That's you can't even hear it, it's dead silent. And around the other side of the tank as well, you can't hear it. And obviously, this is going to have a front panel on the front as well, so it is literally going to be dead silent, you're not going to hear any of it which is brilliant. The baffles are working perfectly. I don't know if you can see over there, the water is just slowly trickling over there. And then you can see here, that water's gone over the edge and then the water level's down there. Now this is the little micro pump that I've had to buy. And the reason is, this pump that I bought, um, it literally worked for about five seconds and then it stopped working. Um, it was brand new when I got it out of the box. Uh, it, it's got no damage to it, there's no cracking, the housing all feels fine. Um, for some reason, it, it just died within minutes. But it's probably a bit of a godsend because when I did actually put this on, the amount of water that this was pumping out, um, it was just too much for this, this tank to handle. It was blasting the water out through there and this outlet just couldn't handle the amount of water. So the water level was just going up and up and up and up and up. And yeah, it was just uncontrollable. So. I literally went out and I bought the smallest pump I could find on Amazon. Now I think this is a 200 gallon per hour pump and it is literally minuscule. It's teeny tiny if I pull it out quick. That's how big it is in my hand. It's absolutely tiny. And this little thing is perfect for what I want. It's dribbling water everywhere. But 
this is perfect it has the right amount of flow for what I want it's dead silent I literally once it hits the water and I put the little suction cup on the tank it's dead silent I can't can't hear it at all um, absolutely brilliant I think it only cost me eight quid off Amazon which is which is always a bonus um, so I said yeah this one I'm gonna be sending back trying to get a refund for um, again this wasn't that much but you don't expect to buy something they're not to work so yeah hopefully I'll be getting my money back for that so that's the sump basically um, I've still got to do the wiring obviously uh, I'm, I don't need to actually insulate the skimmer or the return pump um, because it is so quiet I was going to put foam around it to dampen the vibration noise down but because there's no noise I, I don't need to so that's that's a big bonus I do need to get the piece of foam that's going to go in this section here is like an extra filter um, I'm also looking to put in a bio pellet reactor on here as well, um, a little canister I'm going to be making up myself, so that'll be a video to look out for in the, uh, the next coming weeks. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that's the sump pretty much done. Um, I will be putting a dosing pump on this as well, because of the corals I'm having in there, I do want an automatic dosing pump in there. I could do it by hand, but I want this to be as sort of self-maintaining as possible, so hopefully that I can fit in here somewhere and have that actually dose that and, and sort itself out that way. Um, you can see that I've got the outlet there like I've showed. You see it's got a nice powerful little jet. Now the way that I did that was you can see this hole here, they're both the same size and the water was coming out but it was just trickling out a little bit. It didn't have any, any flow or any push to the water and I didn't want to have to put a power head in this tank just because I want this to have a nice clean look and I don't want anything sort of obstructing the view. So what I did was I got some of this old hosing that I've got, I'm not sure what size this is, and all I did was I cut a couple of sections, a couple of sections out of it, and then I'd cut a piece down the middle, take a section out and I'd literally roll it up and put the tube back inside itself. So I'd have two, one layer of tube on the outside, another layer of tube on the inside. I then did that a third time, put a third layer in, and then I've also got this other airline hose, which is really small. And I literally cut a small section of that, and that actually fit perfectly inside the three layers of this tube. And what that did, if you can just see there, there's that tiny, tiny little hole in there. That's given me just enough pressure that it's actually pumping that water out quite well, as you can see. And yeah, the surface agitation on this is brilliant. It literally reaches all the way over to this corner here, which is great. So I don't need to worry about that. You can see there perfectly. The ripples should go across the whole of the tank, so that's, that's ideal. And then when I get the LED light on this, that's gonna create that perfect shimmer. As you can see, there's not an LED light on it a minute, but it's got that perfect shimmer on the rock there, which is exactly what I was looking for, so. That's absolutely brilliant. And then yeah, this outlet here has got just enough of a, a gap there that it skims the top of the water. And you can see at the back here, the water's just trickling down there. And then obviously that goes all the way down and into the back of the tank. And then trickles into that sump section. Um, for the back of the tank, I had to make a couple of holes for the tubing to go in. So what I did was I've got the old diamond car that I used to actually drill the original tank. Um, I've heard that you can't really use them more than once, so I thought rather than chucking it away and let it go to waste, I'll use that to drill the holes in the tank. So I sort of marked roughly where the holes needed to go on the cabinet, drilled the two holes there, and that, that gave me a big enough gap that I could actually put my hose tube in all the way through and into the sump. Um, and then what I did is with a knife, I just cut out some slots, so like a little cross uh, cut in the actual foam on the inside. And then that way, when I put the actual tube through, it made a nice seal around that just to make sure there wasn't any moisture getting out. And also just to try and dampen the noise down, that fit perfectly. Now, those holes I am gonna try and use to put the cables through. Um, the only issue I've got with the cables is, if you see that top plug there, that's actually a USB cable. Now the return pump came with that USB cable, so I'm hoping that will fit through that hole somehow. Um, if not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't really want to have to cut the cable and try and rewire it because I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Uh, the plug for the skimmer there, uh, that's pretty easy to do. I can literally just undo that plug, take the wire out, poke that through and then reconnect the plug. That's not a problem. So that's all I need to do on the wiring aspect of it. 
And yeah, as a whole, that's how the tank's looking. So I'm gonna empty this water out today. I'm gonna refill it again um, with fresh water just to make sure that if there are any toxins in there, they just get flushed out with that water. And once I've done that, I will be filling it with salt water. Um, by then I should have the sand for the bottom. I'm going for a very, very fine powdery sand because there's not a lot of movement in this tank. I'm not too worried about the sand kicking up and making a dust cloud. And I can also pick up the piece of rock that's gonna be going there as well. So I'm very, very excited. I could take some water out of the main tank, um, but that kind of defeats the object. I want this tank to be as pristine as possible. I don't want anything contaminating it. Everything that goes in here is gonna be as clean as possible just because I want this tank to be as, as perfect as it can be. So that's basically where I'm at with the tank in a minute. The light I'm still looking at getting. Um, I'm gonna keep that secret for now because I'm still not 100% sure I wanna, if I wanna buy it or not. It is a lot of money, but I think for the cores I'm gonna have here, it, it's gonna be well worth the, the investment. This is how the tank looks after filling it up and it is quite murky now as expected. Um, the salt water that I've put in this, I did mix up literally just now. So it hasn't had that time to settle and I'm not too worried about that because it will sort itself out in the tank anyway. It's all flowing now, um, everything's running. So it's just a case of leaving this to settle, sorting out any of the other bits like sorting the sand out, making sure it's all level. Um, you can s probably see here, there's a lot of black speckles. Um, when I started pouring the water in, I was going to pour it onto this, this shelf bit here and the force of that water actually knocked some of the loose gravel off of there. So you can see that sort of speckled throughout it. It doesn't bother me too much when I go through and actually clean the sand bed, I can actually suction some of that out. But to be honest, I'm not too bothered about it. It doesn't bother me. It just adds a little bit more of a dimension to the, the sand. That probably makes it look a little bit more natural. So I need to get these air bubbles out from under there as well. But again, I'm just gonna let this clear and uh, hopefully within an hour, that should be nice and clear and you'll be able to see it all properly. So I can't wait to see it when it is all, all settled and, and running smoothly. So that's the tank as it stands. Um, it is in my bedroom. It's all set up, it's basically ready to go. It looks incredible. It's literally just the right height from my bed that, that when I put the light on, hopefully the light won't be shining in my face and blinding me. Um, and it's also the, a stage where I don't need to sort of look up at it. If I'm laying on my side, I can literally just look across and I can see it and it's, it's like perfectly eye level, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, I will be doing an update on the main tank shortly because there's going to be a lot of changes with that because this room is being redecorated uh, once it gets painted and the wardrobes are in this tank will be going on that back wall like I said in one of my previous videos so I'm going to literally be stripping that tank apart completely because it's a Red Sea Reefer 350 it's, it's, it's heavy it's a heavy tank even the tank on its own with no water or anything in it just the tank glass tank itself it is ridiculously heavy so it is going to be a mega mission to try and move that but in a way I'm kind of excited because where I'm going to move it I need to strip that entire tank down so I'm literally taking everything out so I'm going to be able to give the skimmer and all the pumps a good clean the power head a good clean the actual tank itself I'm going to get in give it a good deep clean all the rocks are going to be flushed out um, sand bed's going to be cleaned out the sump's all going to be taken out and cleaned as well so the whole thing is basically going to be a brand new system um, and I am going to video the whole thing it's going to be quite a long video can you imagine taking a tank of that size down it is a lot of work so hopefully you're going to enjoy that and I'll just talk you through all the little bits that I'm going to be doing with the tank as well so that's going to be coming up probably in about two weeks time um, but yeah I'm um, 
I'm really happy with the way this build's going. I think it's turned out exactly how I wanted it. It's got such a nice clean look to it. Once I get that front cabinet door on as well and get the proper LED light, the sand, it's just gonna kick it off. So make sure you are subscribed, you don't wanna miss it. And then the most exciting part of this is when we actually start stocking it. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm putting in there, but it's gonna be something a little bit special. Obviously we're gonna have the corals as well. And I'm gonna be doing a few sort of, um, I'm going to basically give it to you guys. I'm going to let you choose what you want to go in this tank coral wise. So make sure you follow me on Instagram because all of those votes and things that are going to be on my Instagram go over there. Follow me. I post a lot of stuff on there before I post to YouTube as well. So you can always get a little, a little glimpse of what might be coming up. So, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do subscribe. It helps me out massively. Click like on the video as well because that lets me know that you have actually enjoyed the video. If there's anything you don't like, chuck in the comments, send me a message, if there's anything I can improve on then please let me know because I want to try and make decent content that everybody's going to enjoy watching. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.